Hello, today we're going to learn the basics of the bassoon, how to put it together, how to make an embouchure, and how to hold it. First, the embouchure, there's two standard ways of making an embouchure to correctly play the bassoon. And one is the whistle and the smile, which is kind of just a flat sort of surface. From there, you have to learn how to develop a kind of a multiphonic crow. So it's fairly easy to get a single kind of straight tone, but with relaxed sort of um, lips and embouchure all together, it's just kind of like a little, little hug of the reed. You get a fairly wide range of sound from just the reed. From there, we can put the instrument together. Usually I begin by taking the foot joint, connecting it with, most some of these will separate, mine does not, so I have two, both of them at the same time, for kind of obvious reasons. The bass joint and the tenor joint, slide them in there, lining this guy up with that thing. And then the bell goes on top. Making sure that, once again, these two things line up and don't get smashed or caught or any other horrible thing. When we take the chair strap, gotta kinda sit on it. Get kind of appropriate level. Somewhere in there. Hook it onto the little hook or neck strap holder on the bottom. Last but not least is the vocal, very important part. Slowly, kind of very easily, kind of slide her in there. Sometimes she might need some cork grease. Make sure that the whisper key comes in contact with the little whisper hole. Now to set this horn up with you, you want to fairly um, 90 degree angle to legs and torso. Some people like a foot stand or a little raised feet up off the ground. Um, I don't think it's really super necessary for myself. Um, you want very, fairly natural, not tense hands, very straight wrists. You gotta kind of find a level where you don't want to have too high of an elbow, or too much awkwardness down there. Just kind of find all the keys. And the horn should really kind of bisect your 90 degree angle here. And then throw the reed on there and you got to make sure you're bringing the horn to yourself, you're not trying to go to the horn. There you have it. Now you just need a finger chart. Thank <laughs> you.